Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Corey Comparatory died trying to save his family's life at the Trump rally over the weekend where Trump almost got sent to the upper room. Corey, a former fire chief, died at the rally while shielding his wife and daughters from flying bullets. But unfortunately, Corey was shot in the head. His widow, Helen, spoke with the New York Post and deemed him as her hero during the conversation. She also revealed that Joe Biden reached out to talk to her, but she refused to accept his call. Interesting. You know what's even more interesting? Donald Trump ain't called at all. Yeah, man. Trump ain't reached out at all. In fact, they said Trump went golfing. Which perhaps leads credence to those who are thinking that this is a hoax or something. You know, because... You know, who gets shot in and goes golfing the next day? Eh, you know, not just shot in the ear, not just an accident, like a, like a, an attempt on your life, an assassination attempt. And you go right back out into the open field and you golf. Anyway, fam, anyway, uh, that ain't what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Helen. I'm here to talk about an ungrateful human being. See, this is the way I look at it, fam. Politics aside, you have a man that's reaching out to offer condolences. I get it. You don't appreciate him. You don't like him. You don't like his politics. But the guy that you do appreciate and the guy that you do want a phone call from don't call you at all. He don't check on you at all. He don't send a check. He don't even send, he don't even get somebody to call and say, hey, President Say, uh, former president, say that, uh, you know, sorry he couldn't be there in person. He'd like to be there in person, but he's recovering from his uh, uh, shot to the head. So uh, he can't be there, but uh, he wish you well. Uh, bye. See you later. <laughs> Click. Anything. Nothing. Absolutely incredible. This is what I'm talking about, fam. These people will go to hell and stay for Donald Trump. If they had a choice of heaven and hell, they would choose hell to kiss Donald Trump's feet. They would choose hell. What? I just don't get it. Like, what is it about this dude that has people so fascinated with him? I don't get it. He dumb. Skin look like it stinks. The dude farts in court compulsively. He stinks. What is it about him? He's a liar. Thief. What is it about him? It's got to be some type of spell. It's a spell, man. It's got to be a spell. Because I can't explain it. I can't explain it. He had four years as president. He did nothing to improve the country at all. He did nothing to improve race relations at all. He did nothing to improve the economy. Nothing. Jack, he went and got himself a bunch of money. He made a bunch of money for his friends and his relatives. But anybody else who got something, they got it on their own. And some of them are too stupid to know that. See, I'm going to tell you straight up, fam. It don't matter who the president is to me each year. You know what I'm saying? I you know, I get out with somebody because of you know, certain platforms or whatever. But at the end of the day, if my guy don't get in, it don't even matter because... I'm going to get mine no matter what. I'm not looking for no savior. 
I'm going to get mine no matter what. I'm not taking off four to eight years. I don't have that type of luxury. I never did take off four to eight years based on who's in office. I'm going to just take off four to eight years where I can't get nothing done. I can't get to no paper. Because such and such, I'd be damned. I'd never give another man that type of power over me. Never. This is what I'm talking about, fam. Y'all be running, sniffing up behind, all up in Trump crack, and he don't care nothing about you. This woman's husband took a bullet that was intended for Trump, and he didn't even have the decency to extend a courtesy call. I'm sorry for your loss. That's all she would have wanted. If she would have got that, oh man, she she probably would have she would have been set for life. She would have just she would have, she would have died happy. However many more years she got, she would have just died happy. You couldn't tell her nothing after that. But he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't give her that satisfaction. Cuz Trump don't give a damn about none of y'all. None of y'all. These dudes be out here risking their lives, going up in the grocery stores indiscriminately, just killing people. Talking all crazy on the job. <laughs> Losing their jobs. <laughs> all in the front, all at home on their property, talking all crazy like nobody can't see them getting their businesses shut down and Trump just keep on moving forward getting his money selling t-shirts and sneakers <laughs> selling y'all anything you can think of just selling something selling mug shots a president think about that fam a former president selling mug shot pictures he's selling mug shots and they buying them they got t-shirts out saying, I, I, I'm voting for the felon. This is a guy running for president and they, they say they're voting for the felon. So what I want to know is, are they going to take that little, have you ever been convicted of a felony off job applications now? Since you got a whole president, a whole uh, candidate running for president, are they going to take that off job applications now? Are we going to start giving people who have felonies a little bit more latitude, a little bit more consideration as they go out and try to improve their life? Are we going to give them a break now? Because Trump is getting the ultimate break. Very interesting. It is very interesting. I'm going to tell y'all something, fam. I get it if you were riding for somebody who would ride for you. I get it. I get it. But Trump ain't riding for you. And if y'all think Trump being divisive is somehow going to make your life better, you're in for a rude awakening. It ain't going to turn out like you think it's going to turn out. If it go down, it ain't going to go down like you think it's going to go down. But some of y'all too stupid to know that. Don't let history mess around and repeat itself. Because you're going to lose. Again. Say it with me, family. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. No more talk.